What's going on, everyone? Welcome to BZ Money. I am with a special guest, Ugly Man Joe, coming off of a first round submission versus Alan Amandowski. I was going to say knockout because the knee was huge, but Ugly Man Joe, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, brother. Just got back from the gym. Just about to kick back and relax. Appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. The MMA gym or the, the workout gym? Yeah, MMA gym. Okay. Getting some more work in right after. I, my first question is, Joe, why did you say I wish – I could have fought longer. You hear quite the opposite. Sometimes. Uh, I'm, I'm still really new at uh, new to the UFC, man. And uh, the stage is gigantic. And there's just like a lot of things that like I've dreamt about that are now happening in my life. So just want to take advantage of all the opportunity I have to be in that octagon and, you know, just rack up on all the minutes, you know, mm -hmm. so I get that big show call. I'll be ready for it. Yeah, you like you wanted to be in that fight longer, and you hear guys say all the time, like in the UFC, like I don't get paid for uh, the time I'm in the cage. But did you want to get like a little bit more experience? Is that what you were? Why you said that essentially? Yeah, like essentially, I had prepared myself mentally for a three round, yeah, fight. Like to be in there for all three rounds, like because of how my debut went, I just uh, I just felt like I could use more time in there just to kind of grow up and get acclimated to the situation, but yeah, it was just un unexpectedly short and I would have preferred to be there all three minutes for sure. Yeah. Well, you're fresh and you're looking good. The mustache is intact. Uh, how did you find that knee? Like you, you, that knee was kind of a, a respect getter. You heard James Krause say your co your coach in your corner, but how did you find it personally in there? I just trusted him, man. I, I had been working that knee into my game uh for the last few months and like it's now like a like a weapon that i plan to use more often um and at the time i, I was just really locked in with kraus and he asked for it and and i trusted him so it just it just was money like i i wouldn't i didn't see anything like there wasn't like a setup or anything i was like like seeing or nothing it literally was just him asking for it and me hearing him ask for it and it was just like bam <laughs> Yeah, so I, I tweeted out that night. It seems like the glory guys, especially I've seen Kraus do it to uh, Warley Alves and knock him out. And then like Jeff Molina, Grant Dawson, they're all like really good at it. And and you yourself landed it flush. Like, is that a new involvement to your game or these past couple months that you've been working on? Yeah, it's, just been, it's been a weapon that I that he, I learned a while back from him, but I just recently um, – just started like really incorporating into like being a major part of my, my striking. Um, my, my management company had got me some, sh uh, some knee pads, knee and elbow pads. Uh, so in my sparring, I've been able to incorporate a lot more knees and elbows into my just everyday striking with, you know, which normally like that's something that you avoid in the gym. You kind of avoid throwing elbows and knees just because of how dangerous they can be. Um, to your teammates and stuff. So I've just been able to add them in more and practice them more. And, and, uh, you know, it's definitely a worthy item to add to the, to the arsenal. That's for sure. <laughs> it was beautiful. The guys at glory just seem like they're just really good at that technique. And you, you landed it perfectly added to the list. One of the many, uh, good fighters out of that gym. Now, um, your first win in the UFC, that was the first one, Jamie Pickett, you went a tough three rounds with him, got him with some elbows in there, but, for to get that first win under your belt, what does that mean to you uh, specifically? That first one, that is just like officially like the start of my my terrorizing of the UFC. Like that's just the very first, you know, win of many. Like that just kind of gets me going now. Like gets me in the conversations. You know what I mean? So that it just means the world to me that I could get it that way. I had worked really really hard this camp for this opponent and. I was blessed to have got a camp for that opponent and stuff. So, yeah, man, it's just it's just the beginning of the end of the middleweight division. <laughs> I like that. You're so, like, long and tall for that division. You pose a lot of problems. I saw you you responded to a potential matchup against, like, I'm, I'm, that name is super long, but you said wrestlers don't really want to fight me. Like, why do you feel that way? It's because they're going to be getting battered because I'm not going to be afraid of them taking me down, like, being on the ground is one of my strongest suits, yeah. especially like my MMA grappling. Like I don't try and claim being, you know, the best jujitsu grappler or best wrestler grappler, just all around MMA grappling. Like 
it's just I'm, you'll we're gonna get to see, man. It's just insane. Like I do a lot of things that guys in my division aren't doing. Um, I trap arms. Um, you know, I get to your back any way possible. I choke necks really hard. Like, so I just, I just don't expect a wrestler is going to feel like they're going to have my number just because they're a wrestler. When most wrestlers are going to be really confident in an M- MMA fight, period. But mm. me, I like that. Are you upset, Joe, that you didn't get the fifty k? Hell yeah, I'm upset. How you did- think you deserved it? I don't even have to answer that. You don't? Do you think I deserve it? I do. I think you deserve it. I think That's you deserve it. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, where's all these, man? Look at you trying to get me started. <laughs> I had to ask. I know, like, you you tweeted about it that night. You had a – did you talk to Dana at all? Did he say anything to you about the performance? No, I didn't get to talk to Dana, no, no. I didn't get to talk to anyone about it except my manager. Just, like, threw it out there, like, yo, 50K, like, bonus, like – you know, performance of the night. Like, what are we doing here? But um, I think so. They have that new like Bitcoin bonus type of deal. Have you heard about that, or have you? Do you know anything about that? It's. I think it's a myth. I think it's just All something right. <laughs> that's that some guys talk about. Because I ain't hear nothing about that. Um, my fight. So. Yeah. Well, you you earned a lot of fans, I think, and people know that you know when you fight, you got two things going for you really like your game your striking and then that mustache man it's like <laughs> you got a lot going for you man but um my next question joe is like the the typical one you're fresh you just got a first round victory when would you like to be back in in the octagon back in the cage i think i'll be back in there september there's a usc fight night card in september where um, one of my teammates trey ogden's already on that card booked so and you were on that fury card with him as well yeah, I was. Yeah, I definitely look forward to any chance I can fight on a car with Trey. He's probably my good luck charm. So uh, I definitely I, – I think I, I, that might be the one I get on. Okay, do, you have, do you have a preference fighting at the Apex or uh, maybe potentially on a pay-per-view type of card? Or does it, I would definitely you know? like to be in an arena, but no, nah, no preference. I mean, I'm a little bit fed up with the Apex, that's for sure, but it's still a great place to fight. and. Mm-hmm. I like I like being that close to the PI where I could use all its benefits as well. But um, no, I, I definitely would like to be in an arena, get get a taste of that UFC crowd, and you know have let some of my you know my close fans that I see every day be there. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. So you fought at the Apex what three times now? Is that- three in a row, yeah, and then Colorado for looking for a fight. Fury, so yeah, you've been in the Apex, but they take pretty good care of you out there with the UFC. Amazing. Yeah, no, the Apex is amazing. Like I love fighting there, like and being at that at the hotel, like with all the um all the other fighters and being so close to the PI, I can get over there and get all those benefits that they have. And I I don't know how much different it is to fight anywhere else, but I imagine it'd be different because you're not so close to the PI and you can't get like a massage right before weigh-in day, like, and like I got an adjustment in my last camp <laughs> just to recover, you know. So, like yeah, a chiropractor type of deal. Yeah, like a whole chiropractor adjustment. But I got like a massage. I got cupping. I got an adjustment. I got the, the uh, recovery boots, like all in the same sitting. <laughs> nice. I know. Dude. I was like, this is awesome. I can get used to this. <laughs> Preparing for you, and then speaking about that mustache, Joe. Like, how do you keep that bad boy so pristine and and, and looking good? Uh, I have an awesome product uh, by Modern Image. It's a styling paste. Um, Is this a sponsor of yours? Yeah, one of my sponsors. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's go. Yeah, my barber, Modern Image. Uh, they have two locations: one in Garland, Texas; one in Mesquite, Texas. Uh, but they've always taken great care of me. They all, they have like badass products. Um, so that yeah, that's who takes care of me and my mustache. Okay. What do you think about uh, my bad boy right here? What do you think about it? I think again, there, man. Start twisting it out now, and then we'll have. To... <laughs> I could get there. It's coming. It's coming along a little bit. You know, I'm not on your level by any means, but hey, it's not a competition, brother. That's true. Facial hair is facial hair, right? <laughs> So, Joe, I really appreciate you joining me for these, you know, 10 minutes. I just have my final, like, three or four questions or just kind of quick hitters that I want to that I want to leave you with. So I want to say uh, your your name on Twitter, Ugly Man Joe Gaming. 
what is what's the greatest video game of all time or like what do you play what do you play most of the time greatest video game of all time fortnite <laughs> no. you know i would say tekken not any specific one but just the the game as a whole probably best game of all time funnest game of all time a game i could play day in and day out um but i play i just play like the i play the lame battle royales i play apex legends mm -hmm. i'm playing evil dead right now it just came out um it's kind of like dead by daylight or games like that but mm -hmm. yeah i don't really play i don't really i actually haven't been playing a whole lot lately especially being busy with all these fight camps and stuff but um, I try and get on any chance I get. And when I do, you can catch me on Ugly Man Joe Gaming uh, on Facebook. It's my streaming channel as well. So You'll, you'll stream on Facebook? Mm -hmm. I'll stream my games on Facebook. Ugly Man Joe Gaming, just like my Twitter handle. Any reason for that? Like, you just like it better than Twitch or easier? I, I just, I, I guess, like, uh, more people that know me have me on yeah. Facebook. It's just easier uh, for the people that support me, like, doing that to just do it like because i was on twitch for a while and i was like sharing it to facebook and i noticed it wasn't the same as like already streaming on facebook mm, okay um, well i'll say a lot more people are gonna know about you you know here in the future and and they do now but in hindsight tough question joe looking back would you rather have gotten it was inevitable you were going to be in the ufc joseph holmes is a ufc middle middleweight would you rather have gotten the contract that night of the contender series or the way you did get it on that looking for a fight in front of Dana White? I, I think I'd prefer it the way it was because I still got to make the same amount of money and mm -hmm. uh, as I, as I would have, if I just went straight to the UFC that fight, but I probably would have fought a tougher t opponent had I went to the UFC that night. So I think everything happens for a reason. And uh, it definitely happened the way it was supposed to. That's for sure. Good answer. And your coach, James Krause, one of your coaches, I know you're, you're down there at SFS. I think you came up here with uh, my man, Bryce Farmer, and um, your, your coach down there as well. Yeah. But uh, do, you, do you think James Krause should fight again? Do you think he will fight again, I think, is the question. I could see James fighting again for sure, like especially because James, he, he don't – I'm pretty sure he don't, you know, want to be the champ. Like James, I think James is just a gamer, and he's just he's just about that action. So I bet I'd be willing to bet if they offer somebody fun, you know, like Donald Cerrone for like his last fight or something like that, or um, just one of these legends who are you know, kind of on their way out, like on to bigger and better things. I could see it. I could see it happening for sure. I like that. I could see Donald. I would love a Donald Cerrone, and uh, that would be a rematch, by the way. They yeah, probably, that's crazy. Now that I think about it, but um, my next one is: you like dogs or cats? What's your preference? We have a cat, but I like dogs better. Yeah. Okay. Well, wrong answer, but they're not genius. But I have a cat. I don't have a dog. I have a cat, but um, I think I'd prefer a dog. <laughs> Are you gonna get a dog? You think in the future, or what's yeah, the I'm gonna get a dog? She just, I got, you got it. She wants those big old, like them big old dogs that could do, you know, do some protecting. <laughs> I so, like the small dogs, man, but like that's just me. Yeah, and see, like I don't mind them, but she wants like a big old, like I'll probably get her a cane corso or like a freaking rot rattler or something. What like is that? that? What's a cane corso? Cane corso, like that big ass horse looking dog, like. Dude, oh. look that junk up. That's a big monster. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, look up a Cane Corso. But uh, Adesanya, Cannoneer, and new or and still? And new. I could see Cannoneer taking it. Okay, and you, do you know, or how do you think it ends? Decision, or? Yeah, a TKO or a choke in the third. Okay, Cannoneer and new. I like that. What's the most exciting matchup? in the middleweight division that's uh, already booked that you're looking to watch? That one's pretty exciting to me. Um, isn't um, Darren matched up with someone? Who? Darren Till. Who's he matched up with? 
I know he had that run in with Joaquin Buckley. Uh, I don't think they made that match. Um, I know they won him on UFC London. Yeah, I, new, I don't know who it is. One. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the that title fight's a little exciting. I like uh, I like Cannonier. I like mm-hmm. his aggression. I like his leg kicks. But um, I definitely think that Cannonier is going to have to put him up against the cage and really grind out that cage, uh, the cage wrestling there to get him. And if it goes past the third round, he probably lost his chance. Yeah, that makes sense. But are you a betting guy? You bet at all? No, nah, I like to keep my money for fun stuff. <laughs> I feel that. Well, well, Ugly Man Joe, I appreciate the time. Um, any final words before we, we go off here? Um, I mean, shout out to my sponsor, Rover Run Cereal Bar out in Arlington, Texas. Um, shout out to my coaches, James Krause with Glory MMA and Anthony Salang Singh with SFS MMA. And then you, Josh, appreciate your time, bro. Yeah, thank you. Congrats on the win. Uh, congrats on the new the new fanship, uh, this this media stuff and and the gaming. Can't wait to see you back in the octagon. I can't wait for another finish, and and good luck with everything. Heck yeah, brother. We'll talk again soon.